Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Full and better off during colonial era, says Ango Abdullahi. An Eda statesman, Professor Ango Abdullahi, has stated Fulani Esme in Nigeria are suffering and he called on President Muhammad Buhari to address the problems affecting them. Abdullahi, who also advised the federal government to rehabilitate 600 abandoned grazing reserves in the north to address their sufferings, claimed Fulani were better off during the colonial era. Ango, a former vice chancellor, Amadou Bello University, Zaria, stated this on Wednesday while speaking with newsmen in Bauchi. He said the British created cattle routes, cattle markets, and many other facilities because of the importance of the Fulani and their contributions to the Nigerian economy. Abdullahi, however, noted that despite this, the Fulani ethnic group had not benefited anything from the government. They have now become an object of politics for every bad thing that happens in the country. Now it is Fulani Esme. They have forgot that the Fulani Esme get nothing from the government. The Fulani Esme was better off when the British were here. The British created tracks road for Fulani Esme, created veterinary clinics for them, created cattle markets and so on for them having realized that they contributed significantly to Nigeria's economy, particularly in the agricultural sector and livestock production. Look at subsidies that are going on. Look at the subsidies that are going to our farmers. You go and check if you will find out what subsidy goes to the Hesme. Nothing. You are having subsidy for electricity. You are having subsidy for water. You are having subsidy for roads. Yes, the Fulani Hesme has no subsidy whatsoever and he is the most hardworking Nigerian today, but he is now being maligned as the cause of insecurity. His animals had been stolen and sold in the city. So when you deprived him of his animals, what do you want him to do? He will be hostile. We should revive all the abandoned cattle routes from Niger downwards. There are 600 neglected grazing reserves in northern Nigeria alone. What you need to do is to rehabilitate them. I think this is the little you can do for the herdsmen. Abdullahi, a former scribe of the Northern Elders Forum, urged the federal government to do everything to encourage the private sector to address the unemployment problem facing the country. He said the matter here, which people have misunderstood, is relating to civil service as a source of employment. Civil service anywhere in the world doesn't offer full employment for those who need it. The private sector does. But where is the private sector for employment in Nigeria? Kano in the last 10 years has lost about 15,000 companies for various reasons like lack of power and policies that are hostile to private sector development. Wow. Um, are this a man who has been speaking uh, recently, you know, on the issue of a, uh, the, a, the country or the economy. But most, most importantly, he's really been talking about uh, this uh, Esme, Esme, Esme. So now it has become a, a situation whereby the Fulani Esme or the Fulani, as you may call it, you know, according to what he's saying, that they are being marginalized even as they contribute enough to this country because they are saying they contributed you know, to the economy and to the growth of this country. And most importantly, they are the most hardworking if I may use that word, because that was what he said, that the Fulanis are the most uh, hardworking, if you look at it very well. So uh, maybe they should tell us uh, uh, from what uh, we get our revenue from, for what we use in running the country. They should tell us it is the, the cow cattle business. It is what Nigeria is using to, you know, to maintain the politicians, so to speak, because invariably Nigeria is not poor. That is just the truth of the, the whole thing. But the Nigerians are poor. The people that are enjoying the, the, the benefits and the dividends of democracy or, you know, being a citizen, you know, there are some things that really you need to enjoy. They are the politicians and their cronies and friends. So the, the manner at which they enjoy their lifestyle or they, they fund their lifestyle, 
where is the money coming from? Everybody knows where the money is coming from. So now they are telling us that these Fulani Esme, they are the most hardworking. And that was why um, a lot of things that were provided in those days, you know, during the uh, colonial era, because they saw their importance and they saw how they were hardworking and they saw the way they were contributing, you know, when it comes to that, you know, that was why they did all of that. But what we have now is something different and everything that happens in Nigeria now is a, you know, it's as a result of a full learning. But he said one thing that, you know, try to compare electricity, try to compare uh, uh, farmers that they get subsidy and all of that, that if you don't, if you don't treat the full learning the way you ought to treat them, that what do you expect from them? That they will be hostile. So does that give them the reason why they should be killing people? Hostile in what sense? Are they the only uh, people being marginalized in this country? When you talk of even marginalization, or governments don't even look at their side. We have a lot of private uh, uh, investments, uh, private uh, 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 companies, or private investments all over the place. We have a lot of people, even individuals. So because they are being marginalized, people are crying day in, day out, year in, year out, that a lot of things are not going on in the country. So does it mean that they will not take, you know, to to uh, uh, to crime they will not to, to things that you know will be at the detriment of others they will do things at the detriment of others and when they do things at the detriment of others then the law or the the they should be you know they should be overlooked because you are trying to justify from what uh, the uh, uh, Ango Abdullah is saying he's trying to justify the reason why uh, the Fulani Esme are hostile it's not justifiable if that's what you want to talk about so he's saying that they are the most hardworking people and they contribute more to the economy of the country i don't know where he's getting that one from everybody is just trying to be selfish if he's trying to be selfish of course other people will be selfish so i think they were talking before now that if not ruga that nothing will happen that the country will not move forward that the insecurity will be curbed so what are they doing now everybody since they are so selfish other people too are selfish that we don't want ruga and that was why you see that the ruga was suspended and i'm sure it will not even come up if the government really wants peace or if they really want you know peace for themselves if they want everything to go on smoothly because people have made their, their uh, intentions known that they don't want this ruga because they were trying to use it as a kind of a, a measure to curb the clashes between the farmers and the esme but when they saw that people knew the their intentions that it's more than what they are talking about because like i always say like i believe and that is what is happening and from what i've been saying and that is what is happening that for you to to curb this uh, insecurity or to to stop the clashes between farmers and esme the best thing is for anybody who involved in in crime should be should be brought to book you can't say because somebody is a you know uh, they are not allowing you to to graze or they are not allowing you to uh, do whatever then you want to you know to keep people because or you want to kill the other fellow then the government should take uh, the, the security people should 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 should, should take you over and uh, take it upon themselves and, and and bring you to book so for the fact that okay you want to create rugaf all over the place so that every other thing or the the this thing yeah, it's a the, the clashes or the insecurity will be reduced. That is fallacy. It is not true. It's fa very very far away from the truth. And since people have rejected you now, you began to see that a lot of them from the north they are beginning to prefer solution. You know, uh, example like a uh, uh, Ganduje, he has provided a place and he said it's doing well. And he has even told the federal government that these people should stop moving. Now, if you talk about a uh, you know that uh, they are being treated badly. You can imagine when farmers there, you know, they have a designated place they do their farming. You bring your cow to eat up all those things, and you expect the farmers to be looking at you. And at the end of the day, they are, they are even having upper hands up even over the farmers. So what is a uh, this a, 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 a I can't say it's a gentleman, you know, uh, this a elder statesman, according to what a, you know they describing they describing to be. So it's telling us that the farmers should just be looking and they will not do anything. Like I said, even the SMA are having upper hand over them. You say, what do you expect? So they should, they should start killing people because if it is not that, if that's not what you mean to justify their actions, it's really, really unfortunate and so, so pathetic. So people have said, you can, you have the, the land mass, you have the, 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 the you know, the, your, you, the, your land in the north is so massive and you know that. And uh, one of the, uh, the, the governors, uh, Borno State Governor, has already volunteered or has given them Sambisa, you know, for them to do this rugal of a thing. So now they are coming up again that uh, they are not being given subsidy. You are comparing uh, this uh, issue of uh, 
uh, ESME to subsidy or so something, that is what the government is supposed to prepare for. Because that is what everybody enjoys, you know, uh, 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 together. So I don't even know how to just put the words of this man, like, uh, you know, that is talking about a, a, a subsidy being given to the electricity sector or, and uh, to all these farmers, to this and that. But nothing is being given to this thing that they are better off. Now he's starting to call a Buari to be able to open all those uh, uh, routes that they, they've abandoned because they are being marginalized. They are being, uh, you know, not being looked upon. They are the ones suffering everything, you know, that is happening in this country. Or they are the one at the receiving hand. So I don't, guys, I don't know what you think about uh, what uh, Ango Abdullahi is talking about. I would like you guys to leave your comments and, you know, let's hear your own take based on this statement he has made. Thank you very much. Bye.